Welcome. There are countless options for skincare products out there, right? So many choices uh, to make it easy to really get lost in the entire skincare section of the department store. Just looking through all of the options. A large part of radiant, healthy skin really doesn't lie within those aisles though. One of the crucial parts of glowing skin is actually what you put in your grocery shopping cart. So if we have never met, I'm Wanda. I am a holistic health practitioner and I help people over the age of 35 feel better with natural, powerful, and affordable solutions that last a lifetime. You see, I am very passionate about helping people develop a healthier lifestyle by detoxing, de-stressing, decreasing pain and inflammation, all the while increasing your energy, improving your gut discomfort, your bloating, your constipation, so that you can be fit, fueled, and fabulous. And for my guys, you know I like to say handsome. So providing yourself with healthy foods helps give you the nutrients that you need to power oxygen to the skin and help healthy cells turn over. This leads to a more soft, supple, and youthful skin. See, it's never too late to start taking extra care, extra mindful care of your skin, all right? So here's a list of some things that you should aim for to eat daily to ensure beautiful skin from the inside out. There will be a link to another video and I talk about that as well. So number one, I want you to eat colorful fruits and vegetables every day. Pick up more fresh produce with an array of colors. See, these items have um, potent antioxidants, okay? That will keep you free from um, free radicals, which cause cellular damage. It would be best if you can strive to have about five portions of produce daily. I say strive, aiming to be as uh, colorful as you possibly can, all right? So number two, make vitamin C a priority, okay? Not only is vitamin C extra crucial for your immunity, but it's also great for the skin. You see it in a lot of products. You can use the topical versions on the outside, but inside get as much as you can so you can produce more collagen for that bouncy, uh, soft, youthful skin. So let's think blueberries, let's think oranges, broccoli, and sweet potatoes, okay? Number three, let's savor some selenium-rich foods, another antioxidant that does not, um, that does the skin right, okay? Selenium, it assists vitamin C and vitamin E to help support your immunity, keep your skin from suffering um, from sun damage. You also can get selenium by eating eggs, fresh fish, broccoli, tomatoes, or Brazil nuts. If you're vegan, you wanna delete those um, eggs and fish, okay? Number four, let's not forget vitamin E rich foods, which it's helpful to think of vitamin E as vitamin C's best friends, okay? They're buds, they're best buds. These two work better together to repair oxidative stress in the body, and I talk about that too. So check out some of my other videos, especially for the skin, okay? So choose things like avocados, almonds, hazelnuts to get more vitamin E in. Number five, give your body some healthy fats. Now, healthy fats like monosaturated and polyunsaturated fats give you those essential fatty acids and they help to moisturize your skin, okay, from within for better elasticity. Again, we can go with some avocados, okay, <clears throat> and they can help you come to the rescue as well as some seeds and some nuts. Okay, number six, let's get some more omegas, okay? Both your omega-3s and your omega-6 fatty acids are essential fatty acids that your body needs. However, your body cannot produce it on its own. So you can eat them in things like 
wild caught salmon, Pacific wild caught salmon. You wanna omit these things if you're vegan, of course. Walnuts, Brussels sprouts, or chia seeds. That's another good way, okay? Now let's go with number seven. Let's power up with some phytoestrogens from plants. These natural chemicals keep your hormones in balance, okay? There are different kinds, like isoflavins found in tofu and others in fruits and vegetables and ligands and found in whole grains, okay? So that's something to consider. Number eight, we wanna choose more zinc, okay? Zinc also helps your immune system. With everything's going on, we need our immune system to keep humming along. But for the skin, it trains your sebaceous glands to produce natural oils properly. Zinc can also repair skin damage. It can help your skin stay soft and beautiful. Um, you'll get this by eating some lean meat, tofu if you're vegan, seeds, nuts, and shellfish, okay? Um, you can use lentils if you're vegan as well, um, and some whole grains. Now, number nine, along with eating well, let's not skimp on the water intake, guys. You gotta have your water. That helps your body digest all these healthy foods. It's like that little lake or that little river. It gives your skin hydration to hold on to while um, you hold on to your youth. Okay, so you want to do that. Finally, the last thing I want to say is lessening your load of um, environmental toxins. It's also very important that a lot of people forget. So I want to invite you to join me on Wednesdays at 630 Mountain Standard Time. You can learn more by clicking the link below or you can go to successwithwanda.com forward slash toxins. Okay, and you can register for a Wednesday that suits your schedule. I look forward to seeing you on there. So go down and register. And remember, procrastination never met a goal. I'll see you guys next week and bye for now.